So tonight, I'm trying to find out some things, you know, from spirit. I'm trying to find out this woman that raised me, who adopted me. Is she my real mom or not? Because I look like her. And she says, I have a twin sister. And I found my twin sister, too. She lives in India, and she works at Sh Shulini University. She's a professor. And, no. Yeah. yeah. But I'm trying to find out who my mom is. Is she my mom? I'm so confused about that because I look like her. And my sister looks like her, so I want to know the truth today. I told God, I want to know the truth. I want to know the fucking truth. And I did say fucking because I'm mad. I'm upset because I want to know the truth. It bothers me not knowing the truth. It just stresses me out, you know, that I don't even know. And the only person who know who's my mummy papa is my twin sister. And I'm trying to get a hold of her. And she's not getting my messages. Because nobody in that university is telling her that I've been calling. Imagine that. You try to get a hold of your twin sister and nobody tells her. Because people are evil. People don't want to unite. Because they don't believe in love. People even at the university. Because they're jealous of my sister. Because she's probably, she's beautiful. And um, she has a good heart like me. And they're probably jealous if I get united with her. That it'll make her happy. Not that I'm saying she's not happy. She's probably happy. But I'm just saying other people's views. Because there's evil everywhere. So I'm trying to get a message from spirit today. I've been praying upon it. When I just got that she's saying to me again that she's not my mom. But why do I look like her? Why do I look like her? Why does my twin sister look just like her? Who was she? And I keep, keep, I keep on hearing and I'm fucking stuttering because I'm so over it today. And I keep on saying she's a Farista. I don't know what a Farista is. I don't know Indian. I need to fucking know. And I'm looking at Farista. It means an angel. Like, I don't even know what that means. I keep on hearing she, your mother who raised you was a Farista. So I don't know if she adopted us, how we got switched at birth, how did I end up in America. And the only person who knows my real mom is her. And she's saying that my mom was poisoned by serpents. Mm -hmm. And I do see this lady in my dreams in a white dress and she says, that's your mom. Then why do I look like this, mo this mother who raised me? I don't understand. But then God tells me, like, you know, when husband and wife are married for a long time, they start looking like one another. Well, it was like you being with your mom who adopted you, you will start looking like her. No. So I'm really trying to find out. So my sister in India knows who my real mommy and my daddy is. She knows where my father is. But she don't want to tell me. Imagine that. I got two evil sisters, stepsisters in America. And one in India that... Maybe she doesn't even know. I don't even know. But she knows she has the information. Yeah. Because I emailed her when my mom passed away. Actually, when my dad passed away. And that's when I found out I was adopted. But she never emailed me back. Because she don't want to talk. Because the evil sister hair has told her that I'm not a good person. So she don't want to give me the benefit of the doubt and even let me know information about my roots. Because my name is not even my real name. How can I look up a name which is not my real name? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And people go, go on um, 
Ancestry.com. I don't know what to type on there because my name is not my real name. Uh, what I find them, especially in a different country, you know. But can you believe this? Yeah. So the message here is don't lie to your kids. Don't lie to your kids because a lie is the worst thing you can do. I'm sitting here and I'm sobbing today because I want to know the truth. I want to know the fucking truth. I've been waiting for the truth for a long time. I've been hoping and praying, saying, God, I need to know the truth. I need to know the truth. I just need to know the truth. That's what I want for my birthday. I need to know the truth. I need to know where my real father is. I need to know. But these people know. Everybody knows. My sister, my stepsister in Florida, she knows. She has my real birth certificate. She has my real age. She has my real name. She has that all that information. But she won't give it to me. Can you believe that shit? She so mean. People are so mean. Oh my god, so much hate in these people. So much. And you're probably thinking, why am I saying this to you on social media? Well, why am I telling you my business but I don't even know why maybe my my sister's watching I don't know but if you're watching Namita Gandotra her name is Namita Gandotra if you're watching I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last seven years almost eight years this November mm -hmm. I'm sorry five years since since my Dad passed away almost, and then seven years my mom that passed away. So it was five years my dad passed away when I found out all this, bits and pieces of it. So please email me, call me. I'm in Anchorage, Alaska. And I just want to know the truth, and I won't bother you after I know the truth because. The truth is going to set me free. The truth is always going to set me free. Set anybody free, right? So the message here is don't lie to your kids. Don't, don't lie to anybody. Because when you lie, it's the worst thing you can do to them. And I was lied to all my life. And it's very hard for me to trust people. I can't just trust them just like that. It takes me a long time to trust people because my own family members lie to me every single day for 45 fucking years. Imagine that. Here I was telling them I have a twin sister. I feel her. And they kept on saying, oh, no, it's all in your mind. She passed away when she was six months. She had asthma. That's what they told me. And when I was little, my parents sent me to a a um, counselor or a psychiatrist to say that I keep on thinking she's alive, but she's not alive. She's passed away. And I had anxiety for that because I kept on feeling her, you know, my twin. I just felt like she was alive in all these years. They made me think like, oh, it's all in my head. It's all in my head. And when my dad passed away, he said, no, she's alive. He told me her name on his deathbed. He said, Namita, Namita. I looked it up and I found her with this girl. I don't want to assume, I don't know if she got my message or not, but this girl cannot even reach me and tell me the truth because she knows the truth. She got to know something about my Rifa Papa. She got to know. And she probably doesn't even know. I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't even know. Such a mystery this is. And I was praying and Jesus said, you can't control it all. He says, I'm in control. Stop trying to control this. You're going to know. You're going to know the truth in divine timing, he said. You're going to know the truth in divine timing. I've been waiting for divine timing for such a long time. He says, the truth is going to set you free. So the message is, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thanks for listening.